Fun with failure. Hello and welcome to the Q&A. Thank you guys very much for submitting your questions. So without further ado, here we go. The first question is, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Well, I was going to answer this question, but upstairs Tuna did it for me. Is that an African or a European swallow? I think it also has to be determined if they have a coconut or not. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, this is a very complicated question. Actually, I think I need more info for this. How much time does he have to do it? How sharp is his teeth? Also, how much experience does he have? What about the size of the trees and the location? There's a lot of factors you have to consider. Thank you for this very deep question. Do you have a the gay? I'm assuming that they are special, either it he or she, especially since it's the gay. They are possibly just a fairy tale or a myth, but if I find them and I acquire them, I'll make sure to tell you. Do you highlight comments, or does YouTube highlight comments, or both? How do you or YouTube highlight comments, and why? Actually, YouTube highlights them. I'm thinking it's the most recent comment. I can pin things to the top, but I haven't done that yet. I might eventually do that. It really depends. I just haven't really thought about it, honestly. Did your son help you film a video a long time ago? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the first one he did was one of the TIFU. He was just gonna stick his hand out there with the thumbs up. I wish I would have kept the blooper reels because it was kind of funny. We have a lot of time. We're very goofy together. Also, when he went to do the thumbs up once, he punched me in the face. Yeah, that was funny. At least he laughed at it. If I were to ask you boxer or briefs, would that be considered dirty? I think that's only if you're asking about the contents of the boxers or briefs and whether they're clean or not. Then yes, it's probably considered dirty, but not really. I like both of them, but I don't have any boxers anymore. I usually wear briefs, but I have like swim shorts and some activity shorts that I like to wear that's really nice and airy. Do you have a Patreon account? I didn't see you on there, but I'm new to the Patreon thing, so I could have missed it. If you don't, you should get one. Your time is valuable and people appreciate what you do, so we should be able to give you a thank you if we can. Actually, y'all's comments and y'all's appreciation alone makes a huge difference for me. I don't really need the money at the time. If eventually I'm able to get away from my other work, I would love to do this full time, and I'm really wanting to depend on ad revenue. I might eventually get like stuff like cups, mugs, shirts, stuff like that. I like the more tangible things. But if I do set up a Patreon account, I'd like to do something special for those who do. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Maybe MP3s, other things like that. Um, we'll see how things go. Have you been to Skyline Chili, or Tim Hortons, or Giant Eagle, or Walmart? I haven't heard of Skyline Chili, but that sounds delicious. I might have been to a Tim Hortons, I'm not quite sure. And maybe a Giant Eagle, I'm not sure about that either. But I've definitely been to a Walmart. That's pretty much the only thing we've got around here, because we don't really have a lot of anything here, which stinks. I have to go back to my hometown to get anything, really. So, what was the story behind your channel? I am actually really curious. Hmm, the story behind my channel. I really wanted to do something humorous, and I also wanted it to be clean, you know, for family. I had a lot of things in mind when I started it. The very first thing, I was going to do something like Rob Dykes. Why would you put that on the internet? But I really didn't want to make fun of people. Although neckbeards, I'm really making fun of the attitude and how people act and not really how people are or what they look like. I know there's a lot of stereotypes with neckbeards, but I'm not really one to judge. I've seen a lot of decent people who were mistaken of bad people just because of the way they look. I'm sure at times in my life I could have been mistaken as a neckbeard. So it kind of evolved into reading all different kinds of stuff. I really love humor, so that's what I wanted to focus on. Why did you start YouTube? Well, I've been wanting to start YouTube for a long time. One of the first thing I wanted to do was kind of like a vlog to not only help myself but other people, seeing that I struggle with depression a lot and um, also my weight problem. I was going to start a video called Weighed Down, you know, a mixture of the two. Yay, puns! But I really wanted something more lighthearted, so I finally just jumped into it. And tell you what, that's probably the hardest thing is to start. And keeping the motivation to keep going, it really doesn't start until you actually do it for quite a while. It's not easy. Where are all the stories from this channel and your second channel from? 
Well, I get it from a lot of places. A lot of the stories come from Reddit, but I've had quite a few that I've found from the internet. I Google a lot of topics that come in my head. Uh, I try to think things up that I would find interesting or I think would be entertaining. I've found a lot of stuff that way. To tell you what, when I first started, I was struggling to try to find some content that I liked. But with time and practice, and trying to come up with new ways to ask questions and, and new things to look up, you eventually get there. Even with Reddit, you have to sort through a lot of different stories just to find the ones that you think are decent enough to read. I do have a lot of stories for the creepier, but I haven't really had time to read it. But eventually, I'd like to get to it. Have you heard of channels that animate horror stories? like Llama Arts or Idiot Entertainment or Butterlux. Most of them seem to only focus on Mr. Nightmare videos and one of them narrates stories from multiple channels like Lazy Masquerade and King Spook. Man, I love those. I've seen mostly Llama Arts. I think I've seen quite a bit of the other ones too. I love when people illustrate stuff, especially animations. I'm very picky about what I want mine to look like. And I would do it, and I'd like to take the time to learn how to do it, but I've got a lot of time constraints, so I don't think I'm going to be doing it. I might eventually try to find someone to do it for me, if I like their art enough, but that might be quite a bit down the line whenever I start making any kind of revenue from the AdSense. I want it to be able to support itself before I start adding stuff on like that and having other people do stuff for me. How old are you? Married? For how long? What do you do for a living? How tall are you? Well, I'm 38. I'll be 39 very soon. A lot of people say that I look like I'm in my mid-20s, which I'm happy about. I do have some gray streaks in my hair. They're not very visible, but they're there. Yes, I am married, and I've been married for 15 years. It doesn't feel that long, and I think it gets better every year. Okay, for a living, I'm mostly on call to do maintenance stuff, which could be any point in time, regardless of day and night. I used to be a security guard. I really loved that. Unfortunately, the contract I was working with got canceled, so I can't do that anymore. I do miss it though. It was fun. Besides, if you treat people like human beings, they won't see you as thinking that you're better than them. And that goes a long way with people. Besides, you're no better than them regardless of your position. How tall are you? I am six foot tall. I like to say six foot tall because I'm not very far from there. I'm five foot eleven and a half, so I just go ahead and say six foot. Ford or Chevy or other? There is no correct personal choice. Hmm, I love Honda, but I've got a reason for that. The first Honda I got was an 89 Honda Accord. I drove the crud out of that thing for like 10 years. I abused it and it still drove amazing. And plus I wrecked it three or four times. Okay, most of those weren't my fault. It was the deer. They kept jumping out in front of my freaking car. Stinking deer. Hey look, there comes Dallas. Let's jump in front of his car. Yes, choose my car to commit suicide on. Thank you very much, stinking deer. So my car ended up being a white and blue Honda. Like the front end was blue and the back end was white, the original color. But that car was incredible. But if I was to get a brand new car, I'd probably get a Chevy. It's got tons of good reviews on them. When eating chicken, crispy or regular? Mmm, crispy. I love them both, but I really love crispy, especially the hot wings. I'm not very picky when it comes to eating, cause I like all food, thus the weight problem. I'm working really hard on that right now though. I used to weigh a lot more. Plus I had a fedora and a trench coat. I used to have a nice solid black trench coat. That was around the time of Columbine. Yeah, that went over well. When it comes to toilet paper on the roll holder thingy, is it over or under? There is a correct answer for this one. Oh, yes, there is. As a matter of fact, there's a patent, as you can see, that it's over. So yeah, that's the correct answer. But if you choose to do it the other way, have fun with that. Your choice, even though it's wrong. No judgment, wrong. Do you have any kids? I say I have one. My wife says she has two. Although legally and technically I'm an adult. I love kids and they tend to gravitate toward me. But I don't want to raise more than one. I love playing with them but they drain my energy way too quickly. Pizza or a burger? Oh pizza. I love pizza. Now burgers? I love big juicy burgers too. I wonder why I have weight problems. Do you think you made it on Santa's nice list this year? Or are you expecting coal? 
Depends on who you ask. But I think I'm a nice guy. Don't ask my family though, they might tell you something else. But I think it's because they're jealous. So Dallas, are you named after the city? Is there any story behind your name? Actually, there is kind of a story. Want to hear it? Here it goes. I'm named after my dad. I'm not sure why my grandparents decided to call him Dallas though. Seems to be a family name too because my son's got the name Dallas in his name. So does my sister. Her son has the name Dallas as well. There's a lot of Dallases in my family. Plus, you know, I was growing up very country-like. We had a big farm, raised a bunch of animals. We rode horses all the time, so I think it fits. How old are you? Where are you from? What inspired you to do videos, etc.? Basic questions, but no one has asked them yet. So, I'm from Kentucky or Bowling Green. That's a pretty sizable place. If you ever followed the news, they said that there was a massacre in Bowling Green. It wasn't true. I kind of miss it. What inspired me to do videos? Hmm, or who? I'm gonna go with who. Hell Freezer was a huge inspiration for me. He still is, honestly. He's an incredible speaker. He's Scottish. I really love his accent. He's done some TIFU stuff before. He usually reads the longer stuff. I like reading the shorter stuff as well. So we generally don't have the same stories. He's not able to do as much anymore. He's got a lot of health problems. Rob Dyke, his comedy series. Why would you put that on the internet? I love that series. But I think he doesn't like it that much. So he hasn't done it in quite a while. I think he did a great job. Also, Tobuscus. Loved his animated stuff. Um, especially, one of the main things that I loved the most was Cute Wind Fail. Incredible. That was kind of the format I wanted my channel as. But hey, I like the way it is now. What is your favorite thing about doing YouTube? My favorite thing? I have to say, reading comments. Being able to give some humor and help people laugh. All those mean a lot to me. Don't ever think I'm ignoring any comments because I love reading them all. I might answer or comment on one of them every once in a while, but believe me, I really enjoy reading them. It brings a smile to my face. It helps brighten my day, especially when I'm having a bad day myself. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the questions. Hope you've learned a little bit about me. Hope it wasn't too disturbing. If you have any more questions, hey, just leave them in the comments. I hope you all are enjoying your holiday season. Have a good day, and I will see you all again very soon. I love this show.